Some of my favorite songs of all time are like a beautiful love affair. Between who, you ask? Well, it's a story about a boy named Synthesizer and a pretty girl named Distortion. And today I'm going to explore the relationship between synthesizers and distortion pedals. And I thought I would do this by trying to recreate some iconic tracks so you can see what a lovely pair they are. Let's start off with a song like Daft Punk's Robot Rock. It has this smoking hot lead sound that has this kind of vocal quality to it. But actually Daft Punk didn't play this lead. It's a sample from Breakwater's song Release the Beast. Now, Breakwater doesn't have a lot of media online. In fact, the only video that I could find that shows the keyboardist playing is this really poor quality live video. But if you look closely there, you can see that he has an ARP 2600, which is famous for this kind of sync tone. Now, I don't have an ARP 2600, because I mean, who does, right? But I do have the ARP Odyssey, and I'm going to pair it with the JHS color box to see if I can recreate this sound. And I just like to add that the color box is a really great pedal if you want just a mild distortion. Uh, most distortion pedals go right from zero to 60, and it's hard to get something just a little crispy, crunchy kind of sound. So JHS really made something special and unique with this pedal. Check it out. Sticking with Daft Punk for a minute, their song Defunk has this awesome growling distorted opening line, which is undoubtedly made with the Korg MS-20. So I'm going to try and recreate it and pair it with the very orange Boss distortion pedal. Now, I couldn't do an episode on distortion pedals and synthesizers without incorporating a song from one of my favorite artists, Nine Inch Nails. And their album, Pretty Hate Machine, has some ferocious bass lines on it, especially the song Head Like a Hole. And when I'm trying to recreate a synth bass sound, one of the first places I go is a bass distortion pedal. So enter the MXR M80 Bass DI. So let's try something a little more challenging. 
Back in 1997, The Prodigy released their album, The Fat of the Land, and it totally blew my mind. There are some crazy sounds on there, and they are very hard to recreate. So to remake their song, Breathe, I'm using the Moog MF Drive with the Joyo American Sound in a menage a trois with the OB-6. So I highly recommend you throw down your next 50 bucks on a distortion pedal and get it right into bed with your synthesizers. It's a great way to make some angsty, angry, unique sounds. And if you like this video, please subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment. If you know of some amazing synthesizer distortion pedal combo, I want to hear about it. All right, we'll see you next time.